Hi, this is Doug and Cindy with Help Me Help Mama 5Cast. Thanks for joining in today, and today we've got another news item we're going to discuss with you briefly. This is a piece of good news, which <laughs> is sort of rare if you see the news every night. That You know, not always good news. This is good news. This In the state of Iowa, the Iowa Caregivers Act, or Iowa Care, Care Act, and I don't think they're the maybe the first one. No, but, Hawaii has done this. But yeah, the most recent one, okay. and the, this is excellent. So, this act, as I understand it, and I know it's it's a big piece of legislation, went through the Iowa legislature. So, number one, congratulations, state of Iowa, for doing this. But it's to uh, provide caregivers information necessary to better care for a loved one when the loved one goes home. So, and so it seems logical that this would <laughs> always be done, but you know, some I think sometimes in the past everybody's this busy and you know, they tell the caregivers a little bit, but I think this is an effort to make a more concerted effort to um, empower the caregiver to do a better job of taking care of their loved one when they get home. Right. Well, we both experienced this with our moms. They were discharged from yeah. the hospital at one point or another and went home. And I remember at mom's discharge plan meeting, there were about five people there who were from the hospital, and each one of them had their separate role. And, and I had my role. And, you know, I had been around a lot of service providers the the 20 years plus before that time but when it came to my mom I had a lot of questions and I needed a lot more detail because I had no medical background at all so what they are doing is to try to help the family caregiver who's going to take their loved one from the hospital home know what to do when to do it what the resources are how to access the resources who to call to get in trouble who to go? <laughs> you know, and, it's, and it's not intuitive. It's like it's when not. we had our first baby, you know, we're leaving the hospital and like, <laughs> oh, here's your baby. And like, uh, okay. what, do, what do we do now? Because you don't know. I mean, you don't get a like a user's manual with this. And they, you know, I remember that's the good analogy. The nurse told us two or three things, you know, we'll yeah. do this, that, and like this, go and uh yeah. So, you know, figure it out. And and I saw a study earlier, I was looking at the number of people talking about breaking down the different tasks that they do just figure it out themselves. Sometimes that's dangerous. I mean, and I remember with your mom, especially some of the home medical equipment, it's not intuitive right. at all. No. I mean, you got to no. know, you got to receive some training. No. And and then the therapies that come along with that, if you, if you go home, if your loved one goes home and receives the therapies there. It's a complicated path. And so, you know, there's best practices with every disease and, with, you know, with uh, with Alzheimer's. Just think how much training and caregiver training, professional caregiver training. If you're a professional right. caregiver, you may receive some professional training, been to conferences and been different places to know how to do different things and work with people with Alzheimer's. Well, an average person that's just their mom or dad, they haven't received this training. And if it's this, well, your mom's got Alzheimer's, now take her home. Uh, you know, at best, that could be a very stressful situation because they don't know what they're doing. And then they're just having to figure it out. And at worst, right. it could be like a lot worse. Something bad happens because they didn't know how to, what to do or how to react. And just a couple of quotes, one of the people here that were interviewed said the the purpose of it was really not to reduce caregiver stress, but they believe it actually does it, and I could understand oh, that. Absolutely, if you're prepared this, for what is to come, you're going to be less stressed. And a huge difference. Before we run out of time, the the clincher sentence, look, the one there at the end. So, if we didn't have family caregivers, this is in the state of Iowa, it would cost the state 3.8 billion with a B to provide paid caregivers. So unpaid caregivers, if you're watching this, you're probably one of them, provide a ton of help. Every day. Every day. Every day. Thank and, you for doing that. Yes. And thank you for the assistance you're giving your parents. And uh, thank you to all of the caregivers out there. Thank you for watching today. 
Hope you're having a great week. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video. And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.